in recent videos we've been looking at how you can encourage the orange tip butterfly into your garden by introducing the wildflowers that it lays its eggs on and we've looked at the cuckoo flower and honesty. Now the third in this category is the garlic mustard which you can see to my right here this fantastic little biennial which is found often along hedgerows you'll see blocks of white this time of year April going into May and Jack by the Hedge is its other name as some of you may know it. Now as, this, as you may guess this is a plant that will grow well in a full sun or semi shade setting hence, hence why it does well at the bottom of hedgerows and it's one that is used by the orange tip butterfly as a nectar source and a larval host plant of course which is again ticks both boxes like the cuckoo flower and the honesty. Now not only the orange tip use this plant but also the green vein white will lay their eggs on the lower leaves and I've seen a female in this part of the border laying eggs on the underside of the leaves over the last couple of days and they somehow know to do this because the orange tips usually lay their eggs towards the, the tip of the plant or around the flower heads or the developing seed pods as the plant matures and because they're cannibalistic the uh, Obviously the caterpillars will eat each other if they, uh, if they stumble across each other. So the female orange tips will usually only lay one egg per flower uh, or per plant. So that's why the green vein whites will lay lower down. Now you can actually eat the leaves of this, uh, this um, native wildflower this time of year when they're fresh and they're just coming out. It's kind of a bit sort of uh, garlicky lettuce and speak of the devil, there's an orange tip now. So. Uh, the proof's in the pudding and, and if you can get some in your garden probably the best way is to introduce it by seed and it will take very well to most soil types so garlic mustard add it to your list and you'll tick all boxes in terms of the life cycle of the orange tip butterfly and indeed the green vein white butterfly so there's another tip for you hope that helps